Welcome back to another Bands Goalie School video. This week's video is called Moving the Puck Drill. The four main folks are active stick on low shots, making direct passes, playing the puck behind the net, and communication to teammates. There's six shots in this drill. First two shots are down low on the ice. Third puck gets dumped in, goalie catches it, plays it up. Shooter's on the top of the circles on the glove side. Grabs the fourth puck, plays it up to the shooter, top of the circle, on the blocker side. Fifth puck gets dumped in along the wall. Goalie goes back, stops it, plays it back around. Player grabs it from the wall, comes off, takes a shot, comes back to the middle for the sixth shot. He's getting two shots down low. Goalie using a nice active stick to control his pucks behind the goal line. Again, the focus here, too, is also staying outside the crease when you're coming back into that net from behind the goal line. A lot of times, goalies will panic. They'll come back into the crease, and they'll find themselves a foot or two inside the crease, giving shooters a line of net to shoot at. So an active stick down low on those two shots. Goalie grabs his third puck, moves it up, challenges out, Makes a third save, catches a fourth puck, makes a pass to the top of the circles. Fourth shot, fifth shot gets dumped in, plays it back around, comes back in. Fifth shot, comes back to the middle for the sixth. Again, one thing to notice here, too, is when the goalies are going behind the goal line, they're going to pick up their stick right about here. One thing to work on is when you're coming back inside the crease, is making sure that you keep your stick on the ice, whether it's a bad pass, gets taken away from behind the goal line, or hits a petition, other team takes a quick shot back on net. If we don't have our stick on the ice, we can't really protect our five holes. So, so make sure that when you're coming back into that crease, keep your stick on the ice at all times. We've got to make sure that we have good habits with our stick when we're coming back in the net. We don't want to have it up around our head when we're entering the crease from behind the goal line. And also see these goalies when they're leaving the crease, they're also bringing their blocker hand all the way up their stick so they have options. They have a lot more movability with their stick, whether it's backhand, forehand, they can play that puck up the wall or make a direct pass when they have their blocker hand all the way up their stick. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. To learn more about Bandit's Goalie School, go to banditsgoaltending.com. You can also check us out at YouTube. Just search Bandit's Goalie School, and we have hundreds of videos for you to check out. Until next time, keep ducking.